Hello my dear friends, welcome to Recycle Bin Tech channel. Today we are going to see an 5G modem. You can use modem or router. And 3 out is there. Below that you can see a button for reset and the power socket. And you can see in white like a slot there. That's the place which we are going to insert the SIM card. And your Wi-Fi name and username, password, everything is written below. Now let us see the configuration for that. First of all, we have to connect the Wi-Fi. So already I have connected because we had to change the username uh, that username means Wi-Fi name and password and we'll see the some extra settings like a uh, Mac filter, parent control and etc etc. For that we have to log in. We can use uh, like a 192.168. and it's uh, 8.1. Uh, you can use this IP for login and the username login password it will be backside of your uh, modem first time you can use that uh, password to login inside after that you can replace as whatever you want like a different different uh, password for login now let me enter the password which is given backside of this uh, modem or uh, router and this two option is there for converting router also let us see I will show you in that uh, option now just log in after login that's a privacy notice just give yes after that enable and continue for any updation like firmware like that after that you can enter whatever the Wi-Fi name and password while you type that it will be coming for both 2 point and 5G while you erase that and while typing time we can see that uh, it's appearing you see that's 5g is still there and uh, top in the name whatever one we can give there now let me enter the customer name so this is the name which i'm giving here and you can see use wi-fi password for router login so we don't want wi-fi password We'll use a different password for that. You can uh, give the different password there. Now enter the Wi-Fi password, whatever you want. After entering the Wi-Fi password, now we can enter the router password or modem after that we can select the option finish while you select the option finish again you have to go for wi-fi settings to reconnect the wi-fi because we are given the different name and the password seconds like a six five four three two one now again just select the Wi-Fi you can see it's here below now we'll enter the password which is given after entering the password we can go to the same login page and we can see the some extra settings again we will log in We are going to log in with uh, the new password what we are given before. Now you can see device access one device. So that is parent control, online check, etc. This is the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi information. If you want again, if you want to make any changes, you can make whatever the changes over here. And there is the option parent control. In this, uh, the future allow you to set uh, internet usage for this for children's family. Uh, 
if you want to block some sites or everything we can do it over there and here uh, the device access how many device which is connected to this router we can check over there and you can simply if you go for the desktop version it's done very easy so you will get uh, more over all the settings there and uh, in the top you can see there uh, Wi-Fi and uh, you can see, select the advanced setting while you select the advanced settings you can see many options over there you can see Wi-Fi Mac filter like this if you make uh, like on Wi-Fi filter uh, Wi-Fi filter and there will be option you can see allow and block uh, how many device want to connect with this router you can add each device MAC address on this and you can give allow uh, after entering the MAC address so only those device will connect the internet if another person even even if know the password of Wi-Fi he, he will not connect the internet so this is the best way and you can see this bridge mode bridge mode you can enable the bridge mode while you enable the bridge mode this device you can work like a router without sim card and here there is a many option like a firewall mac address filter ip filter virtual servers special application dmz settings more setting more options are nat settings domain filter everything is here at present we are not going to do anything here then tr069 settings this is the username password while that's a modern provider they enter here and this is the system information which is to reset or update or whatever it is so you can do the settings over here if you want to reset or anything so this is how to configure this router if you like the video please subscribe and support thank you for watching bye bye see you